you can start okay good afternoon everyone uh, my name is harish bhardwaj i am from india and the team leader of business company analysis team project on canadian broadcasting corporations in today's presentation we are going to present the business research and the analysis on cbc so we will cover the analysis of all the essential departments of the company such as marketing hr finance operations compliance etc so these are uh, the team members the name of team members are mentioned on the screen bhushan will um, cover the uh, compliance part joel will cover the operation part palak will cover the marketing nandini will cover the hr department yogita will cover the finance department and i will give you uh, the overview and the conclusion along with external analysis of the company so let's get started from the overview of the company cbc or radio canada is a major cultural institution and the broadcasting act of 1936 established the cbc it has total of 7444 staff members with 14 stations when it comes to market value there was a decline of over 400 million us dollar from the previous year let's have a look on the products and services of cbc okay. it runs two national broadcast television networks first one is cbc television in english other one is radio canada tele in french have a look on vision statement its mission is to highlight canadian culture and democracy and fosters social and economic innovation its organization its organizational structure is it's a corporate that is accountable to parliament for its actions let's move towards the core value of the company it values your stories taken to heart as a strategy it implements proper code of conduct uh, that is uh, very important and uh, this code of conduct is uh, you know Uh, as per the uh, the judicial system uh, and uh, many more it also aims to improve the value of healthcare in new york um, uh, while educating um, while entertaining and enlightening canadians so let's move towards the marketing part which will be presented by palak my team member Palak, you can go ahead. Hi everyone, my name is Palak, and today I'll be covering the marketing part. So, marketing makes the customers uh, aware of our products and services. It engages them and helps them make the buying decision. So, here are the key points of marketing. There are four P's of marketing. That is product. price promotion and place first comes the product so there are five distinct cbc radio channels in total the three english language channels cbc radio 1 cbc radio 2 and cbc radio 3 and the two french language channels next comes the price so approximately 75% of television programming exported to canada originates in the united states so the cbc's cultural and diverse goals and outputs have all been impacted by this pattern cbc radio has two short wave uh, broadcast available radio canada international transmit to united states and across the globe in eight different languages whereas radio nord quebec broadcast domestically to northern quebec next is the target customers so those in the 18 to 49 age range are the most likely to be the audiences of cbc they target the young audience especially for the attraction of television broadcasting and the homemakers unique selling point cbc radio canada broadcast in english french and eight original languages
Next slide. So two recommendations for the department. Uh, it is recommended to use social media strategies, which is an excellent way to connect and interact with the audience in a professional manner. And many businesses owners like uh, CBC have caught up with an old technique of thinking when it comes uh, to marketing. Thus, marketing should create a loop for digital marketing solutions. Two advantages of uh, two advantages to each recommendation are the engagement of audience and the better performance than competitors. And the disadvantages are cyber threat and financial uh, scarcity may occur. Thank you. Hi, I am representing the part financial analysis. So in order to get a clear picture of the financial uh, situation of the company, we collected some data from the uh, from from some official sources of CBC. Uh, we chose uh, two years like 2021 and 2020 just to make it more comparable. So if we take a look at the table, uh, the CBC generated 504 uh, million uh, in 2020 and slightly down in five uh, in 2021. That is five. 103 million dollars uh, still a positive number after the pandemic next cost of sales so uh, according to the annual report of cbc the program license sales was almost same in both the years uh, around 23000 next expenses uh, not a major difference was seen in the expenses uh, like uh, according to the budget results of cbc that is around 1 million uh, 728000 Next, retained earnings. Slides are not visible. Next, retained earnings. So to know how healthy the company is performing, it is evident from its uh, increase in the retained earnings. So they perform really well in 2021. Then 2020, they increase around like uh, 357,000. Uh, next, uh, next is cash flow. Uh, the cash flow from operating, investing, and financial activities was around uh, seventy-two million dollars, which is increased by uh, eighteen million dollars in twenty twenty-one. So, uh, next slide. Next, uh, financial recommendations. Firstly, to improve the financial condition of the CBC, they can increase the speed of monthly reports. Secondly, uh, the financial department should make sure they are improving in forecasting uh, while scrapping annual budgeting. Advantage of uh, these recommendations are strengthening the financial performance. So by speeding up the month end reports, they can uh, enhance the financial performance of the company. Uh, second is preventing cures. So uh, Preventing cure, so in order to uh, so they can represent data more clearly while presentation uh, to in order to get the clear picture of the financial analysis. There are some disadvantages as well, like making mistakes or lacking information. So it is natural when we start doing something faster, we can uh, easily make mistakes like like uh, lacking information and something like that, which can lead to a huge loss for the financial department. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Joel and I will be discussing about the operational analysis in CBC. So basically CBC uses a mass communication process, customization process, which produces and market, it, market the products which are customized according to the customers. So this will result into the satisfa satisfaction of customers and uh, it will be profitable for the uh, company. Next slide. And the process of quality control which is used by CBC is automatic quality control, which enhances the quality of forecasting and uh, which gives creators uh, a platform for editing their content. Basically, it saves time as uh, the previous mistakes are not repeated. 
so it will result in saving uh, consuming less time. Next slide. So there are two types of recommendation which is used in operation department of CBC. The first is using the Six Sigma process and the second is using robot journalism. So the, uh, there are two advantages and disadvantages of each process. So I will start with Six Sigma process. So the first advantage of Six Sigma process is that it improves the quality of the content by giving uh, the uh, creators to publish a uh, well uh, edited news. The second advantage of Six Sigma process is that it saves time by reducing the error. And uh, so uh, the pre-saved mistakes are not repeated again and the creators can easily identify the errors. Now I will discuss about the robot journalism. So the first advantage of robot journalism is that it helps to build the technological infrastructure of CBC. And due to this, uh, <clears throat> there are various prediction. Uh, it predicts the trending content and uh, publishes according to the location. Next slide. So as there are advantages, there is also a disadvantage. So first with Six Sigma process, the disadvantage is that it is the operational cost of operating this process is very high. The second disadvantage is that for operation of Six Sigma process or implementation of it, it requires skill labor force, which is hard to get. The second disadvantage I will talk about is that robot of robot journalism. The first disadvantage of this process is that there is an increased rate of increased risk of fake news. The second disadvantage of robot journalism is that there is uh, manpower will be reduced as it is, it is robotics. So there will be less recruitment process of manpower. Now I would request my colleague to explain regarding the HR uh, part. Hello everyone, my name is Nandini and now I'll be talking about the human resources management part. So the first question is what does the HR department do? The former duty is to man hire the most fit candidate for the organization so that they can benefit their firm through the recruitment process. The recruitment process involves seven stages. First of all, the hiring managers identify the recruitment and they post the job vacancies on their online site. The CVC uses the applicant tracking system where they can handle the job posting and applications related to a specific field. After that, they can track the online applications. For example, X number of applicants apply for a particular job. So the hiring managers shortlist the candidates which have the matching skills that they posted. And then a screening process is conducted on the shortlisting candidates. After that, those shortlisted candidates goes through, a, goes through an interview process and then they will be granted an offer letter. The last step of this is the training process. All the shortlisted candidate will be given the training so that they can get to know about the tools and technologies and the skills they will be using for the organization. Next, next slide, please. Now I'll be talking about the advantages and disadvantages along with the recommendations. So the first advantage is that the management should create a positive environment for the work at the workplace for the employees so that it will be easy for everyone to work for the organization. So if positive positive environment is there in the organization, the employees will be easily learning the digital technologies at their workplace. The disadvantage is that in many organizations, it is seen that many senior employees use their power at many places, which is sometimes considered as the unethical behavior for the organization and it affects their reputation as well. The other is the lack of the analytical skills. Sometimes it is difficult for the hiring managers to use the analytical skills and process the and process uh, process few of the skills that they have. The next thing I'll talk about the recommendation. So it is recommended that they should maintain cooperation and communication at the workplace so that they will reduce the communication gap between the employers and the managers and maintain a decorum at the workplace. It helps them to get familiar with the 
analysis of the company and they can do better for the company. Thank you. Harish, your mic is off. Bhushan, it's your turn. Please continue your part. Yeah. Hi, guys. My name is Bhushan Palo. Uh, my part is to discuss the compliances of the company. The compliances of the company consist of ethics, uh, ethics mode of communication, uh, as well as uh, corporate responsibilities and the policies of the company, as well as uh, the disciplinary actions that company takes when the the disciplinary action that company takes uh, when the code of ethics are broken when the co code of the uh, when the code of ethics are broken by the employees uh, what is the ethics the ethic insights uh, the mm -hmm. ethic of the cbc is to maintain the is to maintain and work continuously on the business ideas uh, that emerge on the daily basis uh, to maintain the uh, vast vision of continuous development uh, development in the broadcasting field of canada uh, the corporate responsibilities uh, the corporate responsibilities of this company is to is to be the uh, leading service provider in this field as well as to develop to uh, as well as to help to boost the uh, economy of the country mm. just a second guys uh, uh, okay uh, the disciplinary codes the codes are mandatory to maintain by the employees of cbc the failure uh, failure to the accomplishment of the codes or policies of the CBC can fall under disciplinary action and lead to the dismissal of corporation. That's why corporation uh, strictly prohibits any indiscipline indis actionaries regarding to the workplace, which also includes consumption of alcohol, uh, assuming the colleagues as well as uh, uh, reporting duly on the time. Now, the line of communication it is also an important factor in this field uh, as most of most of the information is passed via the mode of communicate uh, in the form of exchange in french and english english language uh, french and uh, english language uh, the compliance also contains the part of the licensing work done by the company the canadian radio television and telecommunication regulates the broadcasting in Canada. CBC receives general generalism certification launched by RFS, RSF. Sorry, now the corporation receives trustworthy certification journalism. Trust initiates being in a uh, national public broadcaster of the country. CBC applied to the CRTC and form a partnership with the Cyrus Satellite Radio and the Standard Broadcasting to get a license within the Canadian Radio Service to introduce the satellite of the corporation. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages mm -hmm. of the uh, of CBC? Are the evaluation of the annual risk can be greatly benefit to the company as well uh, and the disadvantages are as there is only one disadvantage that is the cost can be greater than the amount of cash thank you uh, thank you bhushan uh, let's move towards the next part it's external analysis of the company let's talk about opportunities Canada has one of the largest economies of all time, which presents a huge opportunity for CBC. The sustainable approach is taken by the company and is also presenting more opportunities. Uh, let's move towards the threats. The threat of substitute service and extreme competition are the biggest threats for the company. Let's conclude our uh, project or the presentation. A detailed analysis of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation has been given that has provided an overview 
of the efficiency and performance of the company. The use of different marketing analysis tools has helped to identify the marketing strategy of CBC. The financial analysis in this presentation has provided insights into the economical background of the country as well as provided formations about the company's overall financial stability and investment. This presentation has also successfully highlighted uh, the overall recruitment process and operations of CBC, along with an external analysis identifying challenges, opportunities, and threats. Hence, this presentation has successfully analyzed all the parts of Canadian broadcasting corporations. These are the references. Thank you.